What's going on, my name is Chris, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Life is Strange! In the last episode, whoa, 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 damn frame drops. In the last episode, we called David out on, uh, who's that, what the heck? That was like a hand grenade out of his side, but no. <laughs> um, yeah, we called him out for watching everybody and being a bully. I don't want to see or hear you again, Max. You've hurt me and my family enough. Well, you kind of shot yourself in the foot there, buddy. So, Max, kind of hard to. beat yourself up. David earned this all by himself. I agree. Understand? I mean, it'd be one thing if he, like, you know, directly told them, hey, I'll put security cameras up in this place for, you know, safety reasons, blah, 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 blah. I mean, they obviously would have said, no, that's stupid, but at least I would have been in a conversation. Instead of being sneaking around with it, like, that's just weird, man. It's not cool, bro. Hello, Chloe. Max, that gave me chills. <clears throat> and you better not rewind this one. I'm not. No worries. Should I just leave? I think I should do. Never got a picture of that birdie bird. A gosh dang birdie bird. So let's take a look at what we got here still. Joyce and David, I would assume. Chloe's truck, I would assume. Ant and Feather, I would assume. Alright. Where is that door lead? I don't think I've ever been there. It looks like a full room. It could be a closet, I guess. Alright, I guess let's leave. I've done all I can to destroy this lovely, happy family. Time to get out of here. <clears throat> when I went through David's laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. <laughs> right, no way, Max. She was just posing to tease Frank. If you're not going to believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? What's that going to uh. prove? Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he have in here? Her the skull. Not have anything is that him there? For his sake. That is him. I saw the, I saw the tat. Let's check the door. Frank gets so wasted. This is much bigger than you. Is that a giant cookie? Nick, Nick. I can't believe you hung out with him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. Shipples. Okay, here's the plan. I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key. Good and, God. Uh, and... <laughs> Chloe, I got this. I'll be right back. That's awesome. Don't let my epic plan get in the way of yours. I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack to distract his mangy mutt. Scooby snack. Now Happy. to find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. Scooby snack. I hope this? she finds a nice T-bone to keep the doggy busy. Weird. Is that all? Is all the graffiti pretty much just like Chloe stuff? Bird. Little bird. Oh, it's dead. No. What is going on here? What do you mean? It's not too weird. Dead birds. Oh, more dead birds. Damn bird, damn bird, damn dead birds. Damn bird, damn bird, damn damn bird. This is so creepy. See, more creepy is all lines going off the screen right now for some reason. Who knows why? Maxine, pop here. I'm sorry I haven't gotten in touch sooner. I know you're upset by your mom, and I know you did everything you could to save that girl. Some things are just out of control. If you want to come back home now and relax, maybe go to high school. Maybe go to high school. A high school around here, the door is wide open. Why are you graduate high school, you crazy guy? Thanks, Pop. It's been more intense, but I'm not ready to come home. Talk later. Max Oaks Oaks Oaks. That's funny. That's clever. Very clever, Max. Very clever. Deja vu. There's dust on the dust now. Ha! <laughs> crazy birds. Alright, let's, let's go talk to this guy. Look at all these flyers. I thought it was a dead bird, but it's just a rock it's or so something. It's sad that nobody will read them. Hmm, I don't know if there's anything we could do to fix that. Fire hose! Hello, would you be interested in taking a flyer? Good no, morning. poor fisherman. How are the fish today? Don't ask. First the snow, then an eclipse. <laughs> What's next? The tornado? <laughs> <laughs> you don't think it could be like climate change <clears throat> or something? Climate sure has changed around here. Just saw that Prescott brat having a fit by himself in the parking lot. Isn't he uh -oh. always having a fit? He ain't the only one. You knew what was going on with the fish around Arcadia Bay. Oh, I do know. So Trust I'm me. I'm too pissed to talk <clears throat> about it. 
Stay around, kid. Oh, like Rachel right there. Oh. We can talk about other things. Hello, sir. Would you be interested about talking about all the fish? Fish. I heard that something bad was happening to the fish in Arcadia Bay. Well, since you mentioned it first, there ain't no fish in Arcadia there Bay. There ain't no. What? Come on. None? None worth catching and eating anymore. I'm not shitting you. Salmon, trout, bass have died and migrated. Even the damn clams are dying. Hmm. God. But what about... Sorry, just too salty to talk about it. See you around, kid. Bye-bye. Okay. Well... There's no one over there, so I guess we'll go. <gasps> oh, lady! Hello, Trevor! Wait, is that his name? Oh, Trucker. I thought it was a Trevor. Like, That's not Trevor. That'd be cool to be a trucker for a while. Yeah. Hey, how's it going? Shit. PG. Interview over. Fine, asshole. <laughs> Worst interview ever. Work is dried up around here, and I have bills to pay. Time is money to a guy like me. That's, That's true. Wish I could drive you're standing here smoking. Damn Arcadia Bay. The whole town is crumbling. Snow, eclipse, that slut suicide. Whoa, buddy. You're done. Listen, Kate Marsh was not a slut. She was severely depressed for good reasons. You didn't even know her, did you? I know all these black well spoiled shit. But that other loser I'd see around here, Rachel. Prescott, oh. You knew Rachel Amber? Can you tell me about her? Nope. Christ, why don't you get a real job instead of homework? I'd love to see you Blackwell turds try to drive my <laughs> 1977 Needham 18-wheeler out there. Oh my god. I said, interview over. A real job, driving on the road. Get out of here, asshole. Time to own you at your own game. I don't Peach. know how. But, uh... Actually... I wanted to ask if that's your bitch in 1977 Needham 18. <laughs> How the hell did you know that? <laughs> uh, sure. I took a Blackwell class on the history <laughs> of truckers. That's amazing. I always wanted to drive a rig on the road. Finally, a Blackwell <laughs> student with brains. Next time oh, I get a local job, funny. I'll let you ride along. Take care. Anything else? Uh, do they teach English over at that arty farty school? I'm done talking. Over and out. Wow. Nope, I don't okay. want to go there. Always experimenting, ting ting. Well, at least all those birds are alive. It was very bad. Ooh. Oh. Oh. So ominous. Whoa! It's in the shape of a tornado. Look at all those. Those, like. 20 ants, then everything else is pixels. Can I look at it so I can? Look at that. So sad and disturbing and beautiful at once. What an amazing shot. That might be my thing I give. <gasps> oh my god, she's future Chloe. Look at she has that box I of cereal. Hate seeing old women on the street like that. <sighs> nice world. Hi, how are you? I remember you. I heard about that girl killing herself at Blackwell. Mm. Awful thing. Mm. Kate Marsh. I was with her when she jumped. I tried to save her. I swear I oh, did. Oh, no, I can't oh, believe honey. that. That was her choice, not yours. Don't you carry that weight. Too late. Too late. And I had the power to change things. The more power you think you have, the less you do. Ooh. Kate Marsh probably felt like she had nothing no more. I know the feeling. But I need Aww. to find out who else is involved in this. I'm probably a bigger snoop than you. People pretend to not see me, so I see everybody and everything. Ah, uh, hmm. I'm really curious about Frank. So let's hear about Frank. Frank. Bowers knew Rachel. I'm Have not rewind and hear everything though. I heard him bragging that he took a gun from some trespassers. I don't know how he hasn't been arrested yet. Sounds like you know a lot more than me, child. I just think Arcadia Bay is in trouble. Maybe you'd like to tell me what you're hiding. 
Underground cop! I or, trust you under, as much as not underground. And you wouldn't think I'm crazy. Too late for me to judge anybody. Plus, you're not crazy. She's future I'm Chloe! Just gonna say this. Time travel stuff. I had a vision of Arcadia Bay being destroyed by a tornado. For real. Could be. Bad mojo is in the air this week. Thanks for the warning, Max. <gasps> How'd she know my name? I hate seeing old women on the street like that. Thanks for that storm warning, Max. And, uh, I'll let you know if I find out anything. My, should I rewind? I mean, I'm, I'm gonna still tell her the truth, but I kind of want to hear what she has to say about everyone else. Let's do it. Let's see what she has to say. Hello. Hi. I remember. I remember you. What's your? Oh, right. Uh, Kate. Kate. Skibidi beep beep. Too late. Too late. Skibidi beep 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 beep. Skibidi beep 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 beep. Kate. Skibidi beep beep beep. I'm probably. Oh my God. Oh, if I accidentally click on Frank, I'll be very sad. That spoiled shit finally got kicked out of his daddy's school. Yay! He also drugged the girl who jumped. Sounds like you know a lot more than me. Oh, uh, does she say the same I thing? I just think our maybe you could like. Let's see what she has to say about David. Too late. I'm just. A zip -dip. Could be. Let's go Can I go back in time from here? I don't know if that actually worked. Or not. It might have just been the end of the conversation. Hi. Ah, ah, er, eh, er. Yep. Kate. Oh. Freaking mash the space button. Alright, one more. Yeah. Kate. This is a long conversation I remember being. I'm proud. David Madsen. I think Joyce's husband, David, has something to do with all this. Pops. He's an uptight ass. But I think he just wants something to do. Like, yeah. make life hell for me and his family? Sounds like you know a lot. All I right, just... I'm gonna go back on. Wait, cut you from here. Tell the truth. Two. I could be. All right, let's go back one more time, and go with my original option since I am more curious about uh, Frank. <laughs> Hi. Okay, here yeah. we go. For Kate. I could have used that time to experiment with the other answers, but oh well. Two. This was the main Eight one I was concerned about. But I. But it, it, Scooby-Doo. Frank. Frank. Uh, Although Nathan probably would have been better to keep an eye on. But I just, whatever. Yeah. Might as well not put all yeah. my Too chips late. in one I'm just thing. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. Get out of here. Hello, how do you do? I do good. What's this? Independent. Yes, another great day in Arcadia Bay. Right, we already saw this. Yeah. All right. Last time we were here, we were showing Chloe our powers for the first time. Now we're gonna go freaking get deal with Fr or not Frank. Yeah, yeah, that is Frank. Hey, is that a butt quack? Bacon. Uh, I'm that's ready funny. to nosh again. Ugh, but I need to get those keys from Frank. Okay, it's officially sold out, but imagine guys both tickets. I had to fight a dozen bullies off for them though. Freaking nerds. Let's take a look at our picture. Ooh. Oh, wow. We missed a lot of things. I mean, they're probably at the end of the episode. <laughs> that quality. Wow. Great acting, 10 out of 10. <gasps> it's Peter Baelish! Not really. Crazy things. Please feel free to call in and let me know what your experience has been. What you think this might be is this global warming what is causing all of this crazy weather. Cray cray. 
The poster doesn't mention whacked students with guns. You'd never know how hmm. weird this town is by these postcards. Kitty cat! Deja vu. Is there anything different going on here? Should I just skip all this crap? You killed Kate? Holy! Maybe we all did. Jesus, that may actually maybe be like, well, the seventh sin. Shit. The sea and sky will turn black and living things then? die because of it. So does your mom. Here's the dough. A deer, a female deer. I'll carry a gay song stack. Ha <laughs> ha That's a funny. Hello, Sir Coppington. Never mind me, officer. I'm just here to steal a drug dealer's keys. <laughs> Looks tasty, but my need for keys comes first. My need for speed. <laughs> Forgot about the fishing wall of fame. Okay. Don't care. Don't care. Can't drop any tunes right now. Keys. Keys disease. <clears throat> oh, Nathan. Hello. Nathan has time to get drugs from Frank because he was expelled. I thought he was like tweaking out over here. Who dat? No one important. Who dat? No one important. Looks like a homeless guy. Hello, Frank. Turn up the brain to eleven, Max. How can you snap? I don't know. Hello, Sir Franklin II. You have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns, and dressing up like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. What the fuck do you want? Take a picture of me and I'll break your fucking camera. How do you Ooh. know these are Rachel's clothes? Because she looks beautiful in them and you look like ass. You're lucky <laughs> I just took that gun from you. Grab your keys and let's check out your RV. Let's not. You fucking creep me out. In other words, Max, no keys. Maybe Look at that giant cookie. That officer, or even Nathan. And then go all Groundhog Day on them until I get the info I need. Okay. How you doing, Maxine? I'm so sorry you had to be up there with Kate when she, you know. Yeah. Just know that we're proud of you for going up there. Thanks, Officer Barry. I know you guys deal with this stuff way more than me, but it is hard to deal with. I'm glad I'm you're representing Blackpool Academy. Weird town? Whoa, Jesus, there's a lot of options. Um, Kate Marsh. I guess Kate Marsh will be the face of Blackwell for a while. Such a waste. Awful. <clears throat> Awful waste of space, I feel Kate like Marsh David was. Madsen represents Blackwell. Not for long. He's a loose cannon. We all respect him for his service, but he's too eager. An eager beaver. He's eager to be a dick to me and Chloe. That's true. He was ranting about a stolen gun, then I tuned out. Somebody's always <laughs> about to get him. Try interrogating somebody else, Lieutenant Caulfield. Here's the okay, great. Can we not... I want to hear the other options here. What can here. I do for you, Max? Can't skip it, Nathan Prescott. I thought Nathan Prescott represents Blackwell. Don't make me backwash this bacon. You know what the Prescotts represent. Taking over Arcadia Bay? You're not far <laughs> along, Max. I heard the Prescotts are working on some new big land deals. Hmm. Mr. Prescott helped out my family once a while ago. So I made a deal with him. That I can't Look, she has horns. Man, if I could get one instant replay in life. I better finish my breakfast first. I better finish. Ooh. There's a lot of freaking. We'll chat later, Max. Fine. Be that way. I shouldn't have said that. I'll need to rewind. What can I do for you? Prescott deal. Well, oh damn! I want to say weird town. You were working for the ah, Prescott whatever. family on the side. Jesus! Doesn't this town ever shut up? I don't blame you for getting extra work. Look, sometimes I check up on the Prescott family to make sure they're doing all right, Nathan included. Keep this quiet, Max. Is there anything else okay, going there? We're down. Do you think Arcadia Bay is a weird town? I'd take a normal city with normal problems <laughs> about now. It makes me sick thinking about it. Is it San Yorkerly now? All right, Nathan, what you gotta say about the life? Nathan has time. All right, to we that. Rachel, uh, whatever the fuck. Uh, oh look, Max Amber. Nice outfit. 
Hey, Twitchy. <laughs> By the way, thanks for getting me fucking expelled, you twee bitch. You're lucky this is a public place. Ooh, or else what? You show me where they're gone. You're in a public diner with a police officer right over there. You shouldn't advertise your rage, Prescott. Oh yeah? You shouldn't have bitch snitched on me to that fucked up principal. <laughs> Listen, Nathan. I'll take back no. everything you. If you hook me up with Frank. No. You, know I mean? you look like you've never even taken a hit of baby aspirin. No. I think I stay wired all night studying. So is it a deal or not? Calm down, hard up. Deal. You'll get your school supplies. Just go over to Frank and whisper higher education. You'll hook your ass up. I don't want to do that. I, I want to piss him off, to be honest. I'll try and piss him off a bit. I'm an evil lad. Hello, Prescott. Your father. Your sugar daddy will always protect you and threaten me. You don't yeah. shit about my father Get out or here. me. Nobody here does. Then tell me what I should know. Why? So you can pretend to care? Hmm? Spoiler alert, he's an asshole. Maybe I could help you. I don't need you for mm. anything except to stay out of my fucking business, understand? Now get out of my face. Get out of my face. Holy shit. What <laughs> do you want now? <laughs> this is great. <clears throat> I bet you hoped that Kate Marsh would stay quiet. Idiot says what? Did you drug oh her? Oh my god. You are so stupid, Max. You think you're so goddamn smart, too. Don't push me, girl. You don't want me for an enemy, understand? I thought dude, you already were my calm enemy. Calm down, dude. We're in a diner. Right. Plus, you're an adult now. I can sue your dumbass for libel. Thanks. Now fuck off, Dyke. Oh my Holy god. Shit. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I bet Frank took He's Rachel so mad. Up with party supplies. Nice try. Rachel partied like a fiend on her own. More than me. I doubt that. Like you would know, virgin. Even that pig over there knows Rachel hung out more with Frank. I mean, don't talk to the cop about that, dumbass. Ah. Um. All right. Well, the next episode, we'll blackmail him with the fact that you guys are paying off a cop. And, um, yeah. And then we'll piss him off even more, which will be fantastic. I, I can't. I, I love. I love messing with people like this. It's great. <laughs> I'm an evil man. Uh, if you guys enjoyed, <laughs> best way to help out is by subscribing to my channel and liking the video. Uh, if there's any games you want to see me play, check out the top link in my description. It leads you to a video that lets you do just that. Uh, so today, I finally found out what was in David's secret files, and I admit I expected it to be worse. I'm relieved that it wasn't, so maybe I'm going I'm going easier on him than I should. No surprise that he had detailed files on Kate and Rachel listing their whereabouts along with surveillance pics. David isn't off my shit list yet, but he's a damn good investigator. I'll give him that. It's clear that Frank and Rachel had some kind of relationship. I don't think Chloe is going to be happy to hear that. She needs to start waking up. We all do. When David came home, things escalated quickly. He looked more upset than usual, but shrugged when he saw me wearing Rachel's clothes. He was so on the edge. Maybe I'll never get to see the David that Joyce loves so much. She and Chloe really will let him have it, though. This was the first time I saw them bond since we were kids. Suddenly, I couldn't take it anymore, and I kind of blew up. It was like a torrent that felt... It was like a torrent that felt awesome. I've been wanting to rip into David like that myself for a long time, and I figured, worst case scenario, hello, rewind power, but I wanted Joyce to know the depth of his weird paranoia, so she looked so sad and angry when I told her about the photos of Rachel and Kate, not to mention his home surveillance. Joyce kicked him out of, his ho kicked him out of the house to Chloe's glee. Yeah, I mean, like, I don't regret that because they deserve to know. He's spying on them. That's weird as hell, man. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you enjoyed, the best way to support me is by leaving a like and subscribe. I already said all that, so you know what? Goodbye. <laughs>